Uh, two weeks ago, I was struck by a car on this corner. And in the in the time that I've been at Crane Place, one person has been killed and several people have been hit at this particular corner. I think there should be a stop sign or some warning about pedestrians at this corner. We know that the built environments in which people live, work, and play impact their health. This is particularly true for older adults that may have mobility impairments. Hi, my name is Matt Booman, and my colleagues and I are interested in developing new methods to help identify key environmental features from community residents that may impact their health. We developed the Stanford Healthy Neighborhood Discovery Tool, an electronic computerized audit tool designed to identify barriers and facilitators to being physically active. The tool collects detailed information about walking routes, as well as other features that individuals deem as important through geocoded photos and audio narratives. The tool is designed to be simple and interactive and was specifically designed for older adults with little or no experience using this technology. We had 26 older adults use the tool during a typical walk in their neighborhood, and on average they took about five pictures and five audio narratives. There were high proportions of both positive features or facilitators, such as trees, flowers, and other aesthetics, local destinations, and parks, as well as negative features or barriers, such as cracked sidewalks, unsafe intersections, and crime and graffiti. This pilot demonstrates that seniors can use the Stanford Healthy Neighborhood Discovery Tool to capture key environmental features with only modest assistance from research staff. We are currently working to develop a web-based interface for policymakers to view the pictures and audio narratives from their constituents to inform city planning and public policy.